Hi guys, so today is going to be a first impressions kind of video slash haul slash review-ish kind of thing. Um, I made my first order with Coastal Scent a couple weeks ago and I finally got it today. Um, shipping was a mess. Um, it wasn't Coastal Scent's, it wasn't their fault. Um, it wasn't really anybody's fault. They just ship through FedEx and they require a signature, which is good. But the thing is, with my apartment, uh, my apartment's very secured, so they attempted four times in all. The first time they got up here, I wasn't home because they come really early and have class. And um, they left that signature thing that required a signature, so I signed it, put it back on my door. Then the le next three times, they couldn't even get into my building. So it's very frustrating. I ordered on the 29th of October. Today is the 11th of November. So that's about like... Um, gosh, well actually it shipped out on the 29th, so I ordered on the 28th, so it's about two weeks. Um, very frustrating, but I would have gotten it, uh, maybe within a week or so, but, um, can't help it. I'm glad I got my package. I finished my applications for grad school today, so what better way to celebrate than to get my package? Um, what I actually did was I just, um... Instead of them coming here, I sent it. Like you have an option on FedEx to just send it to a location, a FedEx location close by you so you can pick it up yourself. I decided to do that instead and I did that and then I got to pick it up today. So really good. Um, I'm happy that I finally have it and um, I had to come home and make a first impressions video. Um, so here we go. Um, I already opened everything. So I didn't, so I kind of forgot that I ordered a brush I ordered this like pencil blending-ish brush, really tiny, a little bigger than the 219, no, yeah, a little bigger than 219. Um, first impression though, like doing this, it's pokey. The bristles are very pokey and um, I have to wash it still, but I can't imagine putting this on my eye since it's so pokey on my fingers, so I don't know, we'll see. I'll let you guys know later when I start using it. It might end up being one of my favorites, you never know. They also gave me a little sample of like their loose eyeshadow. This one's called Destiny. Um, it came in this little package, it's called Destiny. Really pretty, um, it's just a loose like coppery eyeshadow. I don't want to open it because it's kind of messy. Um, but yeah, okay, on to the exciting part. I got one palette, I've always wanted to get either their 42 Shimmer Double, double Stack Palette or the Metal Mania Palette. And I decided I wanted to do the Double Stack because the eyeshadows are bigger and I don't really like falling in love with the eyeshadow that's like dime shape and then I have to buy the whole palette again just for that eyeshadow, you know? So I decided to go with the Double Stack because plus they, plus they come with blushes and I love blushes. So. The box that it came in looks like this. <clears throat> looks like this. That's the box. It has bubble wrap inside as well. So good packaging. And then the um, palette itself has the same printing on top. Very heavy duty packaging. Really good. And then when you open it, it comes with this film that goes on top. I took it out already. And then the first portion of the first um, layer is the eyeshadows. So pretty and this is the shimmer one so really quickly if you guys can look at that. I'll do some swatches of some of them and then when you take it out, take this out, you have the blushes and here's the blushes. Some are shimmer, some are matte. I'll do a swatch of all of these so don't worry and this also comes out if you turn it over it also comes out of the um, palette. So just be careful because I don't want like some of my, my other, I have another like 120 palette. Um, the second stack is like stuck in there. So I almost went like this with it thinking that it was glued in there and then it almost fell out. So just be careful. Okay, so let me do some swatches of some of the eyeshadows. Oh, it also comes with a little skinny brush like this. I don't know if it's like a liner brush or something. Comes with a double-ended brush like this. This is really soft, this brush. Don't know if I'll really use it, I might just throw it away. And it comes with a large size brush like this. I'll probably definitely use this one, so that's good. 
Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start with, um, I'll take like a favorite of all the different colors. So we'll start with first the white. And there's the white. You have it there. And I'll swatch it on my hand. Very, very pretty. These are these shadows are super soft, so be careful of fallout. Be careful when you dig your eyeshadow brush in there that you're not too rough or you would like might dent it. So it's a very pretty like snow white kind of thing. Um, and then we'll pick one of the yellows. I'll go ahead and pick this yellow right here. Very pigmented. I hardly like stuck my finger in there. And there's the yellow and then from I'll pick this orange right here ooh that's pretty I like it. it's kind of like a sunny orange there's that orange okay and of the pinks I'm gonna go ahead and swatch I'll swatch ooh this this is a pretty color right here it's like a almost like a magenta pink or like a mauvey pink and that's, well, that's pretty, right there, oops, sorry, right there. And then I'll pick another pink, um, actually I'll use this right here, this color right here. I don't know, I'm showing it to you like that because it's hard to see, but that's pretty too. It's like an orangey pink. Very nice. And then, hmm. Let's try a red. So there's the red right here. Reds are hard because um, it's hard to make a nice red that you can that is wearable or not wearable, but you're able to put by your eyes. But that's really nice. It's like almost like a blood orange, but it's a really nice color. Then we'll try this pretty purple up here. Well, that's pretty. I love the sheen on these. It's like not glittery, but it's like it has a pretty sheen. Then we'll try this baby blue right here. Ooh, this looks like mutiny pigment. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is incredible. That looks just like mutiny pigment from MAC. Oh, it's like Robin's egg blue. I love it. Okay, and then we'll try the dark green down here. Don't mind my fingernails, guys. Sorry. Been meaning to paint them, but just hasn't come around to it. That's really pretty. Okay, um, let's go ahead and try one of the dark purples. We'll try this one right here. That's nice. Love it, love it. Okay, and then we'll try dark blue. We'll try this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's so pretty. Okay, let's try the really, really dark blue down there. Kind of looks like contrast from MAC. Love it. That's really pretty. Okay, now we'll move on to the coppers, the brownish colors. We'll try this dark brown right here. That's pretty. It's a good, nice copper color. And then we'll try this light brown right here. Ooh, this is so nice. Look at that. It's like half baked from Urban Decay. Oh, that's super pretty. Oh. Falling in love here. And then we'll try the black. It's more of a charcoal than a black. That's good too. Sometimes black can be a little too harsh. Charcoals are nice. That's a really good dark color. Darken up the crease. And then we'll do this silver. That's right up there in the corner. Ooh, this is my least favorite. It's kind of too chalky. So, for the eyeshadows, my goodness, there's not one that I don't like besides maybe that silver. Um, every single one that else of that besides the silver, they, they pretty much speak for themselves. Like, 
wonderful quality. I love it. And there's many dupes in here, I'm sure, that are dupable to MAC, Urban Decay, blah, 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 whatever. So, um, yeah, first impressions of those shadows, I love, 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 love. And then we'll go on to the blushes. And I yes, I will do looks with these. If you guys do have these pal this palette, then stay tuned. There will be looks. I'm so excited. Okay, so next is the blush palette. So I'm going to take that out. Oh, I thought I gouged one of them. Okay, so we're going to do all of them. Um, let's start first with this one right here. And so this one is a really, um, I'm not good at describing colors, but it's very sheer. doesn't really pick up a lot. Oh, I have kind of have to dig my hand into that one. You can see it. It's very sheer. Not to impress, but they're blushes. You know, they're not eyeshadows. They're not meant to be super pigmented, but then again, high-end ones are. So, I mean, you, you have to pick and choose. Next one is this one up here. Ooh, this one is nice. This one is pigmented. That one's a nice pink. Pinky, pinky, pink. Nice. And then that one, those two are like mm, more of a satin finish. I wouldn't say they're matte. They have a nice sheen to them. This next one is a matte. And it's this magenta hot pink madness which doesn't show up very well <laughs> sadly if I keep digging my finger in there it will see but it would need layers if you do want a bright um, look from that one okay next one is this nice peach color right here and then I'm gonna do that um, kind of not uh, yeah like kind of bronzy color so I'm gonna do those two next so this coral color kind of comes off as like a dusty coral. And I think I'm going to love that bronze one. So there's that coral color and then right under is that bronze one. That would be really pretty right on the cheeks. That would look really nice. So both pretty pigmented. The next two I'm going to swatch is going to be this shimmery kind of um, mauve color. And this one is a more of a peachy orange kind of color. So if you can see, sorry, this is awkward, but that's the mauveish color right there. And look how bright that orangey peach color is. That one's nice. You have to use a light hand with that one. But that would be a nice color. Okay, the last three I'm going to do, these two down here are matte, one, two. And this one is more of a shimmery, kind of like that, but more of a shimmery color of it. So I'm going to do these three. So it's me this one, this one, then this one. Okay, so as you can see, these, these two look the same. This one was the matte one that was on top. And that one is the one that I just swatched, which is the more of the shimmery. Kind of the same looking, but good payoff. That one was that dusty, uh, or I don't know how to explain it, the matte one. This one right here. And then the last one is that dark one. So that's that one, that's the darker one. So really nice, again, so these are all the swatches of the blushes. They're not too bad um, at all. Some are more sheer than others, some you might have to pack on, depending on um, your skin tone and everything. But um, not bad. If you're going to get this palette, I would get it more for the eyeshadows than the blushes. Um, not going to say I'm totally disappointed with the blushes because I haven't like tried on my skin yet. Um, because blushes are different from eyeshadows, they really are, because blushes aren't supposed to give off as pigment, as much pigmentation as eyeshadows, usually, you know, I mean, for other purposes, maybe, but, um, for me, it's okay if my blushes aren't as pigmented or are more sheared out than my eyeshadows. I like my eyeshadows to be vibrant. So, this, again, is, uh, what it comes with. Um, I bought it on sale, so I forget how much mine was, but, um, I do love this, and I'm excited to do looks with this. It's, I don't know, I'm just really excited for it, and I'm glad I got it. 
and I hope this was kind of informative for you guys a little. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat informative and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.